internet and www that's a world wide web now what is the internet internet is a worldwide computer network consisting of computers and networks that are linked using telephone lines undersea cables satellite or microwave and the purpose of an internet is for communi communication and sharing of resources an internet can also be regarded as a network of net of networks connected worldwide every computer that connects to the internet must have an ip a unique ip address and these the ip addresses consist of four sets of digits separated by dots what is needed to connect to the internet for a wired connection you need an adsl line and for a wireless con connection you need a 3g modem or a 4g modem you have to have your computer you need an isp internet service provider that will connect you to the network you pay the isp a fee and isps are like your clc your mweb your telcom you pay them a fee to connect you to the internet now in terms of your adsl connection adsl connections have two different speeds we have a download speed and an upload speed. The download speed is faster. You also get two, okay, you've got two megabits per second. You get four megabits per second, eight megabits or 10 megabits per second. Your upload speed is slower generally because there is more download than upload. Well, in terms of your ADSL, once you have your ADSL, you need to pay a, an ISP cost, monthly ISP cost and the line rental for the ADSL. With ADSL, you have access to internet and phone calls at the same time. You need to check availability for service if you're going to connect to an ADSL line. And the ISP, which is telecom, you can, telecom can be your internet service provider. But all ISPs offer different data packages. So you pay according to the data package you select. Now for wireless connection, for wireless connection, freedom of internet connectivity without having to have an ADSL line. That's the advantage. Yeah. You are not in a fixed location because of an ADSL line. You're using a modem so you have a mobile access you're using your cell phone towers you have a 3g modem to connect your computer to the cellular network to get internet access now we have 4g which is faster that's light technology and we also have 5g in the pipeline the world wide web it is a service that runs on the internet and, and consists of a vast collection of interlinked interactive documents stored on computers all over the world. It is accessed via the internet. So note, whenever you're doing, you, are, you do do research, you are not actually researching the internet, you are researching the, you're looking for files or information on the World Wide Web that runs on the internet. So your internet is actually a physical connection of cables, but your World Wide Web is a service that runs on the internet. And that's on which you will find your documents. A web page is an electronic document on the web. A website has related web pages. For example, Verlum Secondary website will have all pages related to Verlum Secondary. The first page is normally so is called the home page. The first page is the home page of the website. Hyperlinks are used to connect to an other web pages and to connect to other websites. So you have hyperlinks. A web server hosts a website. So once a website is created, it needs to be hosted on a web server and from there you can view it. Your World Wide Web, we're looking at each website must have a URL or web address. 
for example www.virlumsecondary.co.za URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Remember that an IP address is a numerical address that identifies a computer or any other computing device, but the a URL is used to identify a website. We're going to use the word protocol often and that is a rule for communication. Protocols are rules for communication. Now we're looking at network protocols or rules. IP is an internet protocol. That's the rules for communication over a network. Those are the rules that, are, that govern communication on a network or internet. Now your HTTP is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. These are rules used to transfer of web pages and information relating to files relating to web pages like videos and audio. The HTTPS is a secure website. There's a rules governing it to show it is secure. The S at the end when you transfer the web page, we're also looking at security. SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol. It's a transfer of email. When you're sending an email, you use an SMTP. FTP is file transfer protocol. This is for easy transfer of large files. So it's used specifically when you've got large files to transfer. You can use an FTP protocol. VOIP is voice over internet protocol. This is used for the transfer of voice and or video. And VoIP can be used for voice and can also be used for video. These are all rules so that data can be transferred. Now, in terms of your URL, for example, www.webopedia.com. That is your website, but that's a URL for that website. That's how we identify the website. Your domain name, at www, you have be looking at, for example, studyopportunities.co. Co means Company, ZA means geographical location. If you look at facebook.com, there is no geographical location. This is a commercial site. This is a government site. Right, that's a company as well. That's in UK. Right, now we're going to look at types of websites. That will be done in your next